We've got another app showcase for you today. I want to start right off with AirDraw. This one's actually a lot of fun. It's one of these 3D drawing apps, but it's really cool that they got this palm facing menu here. So when I open my palm, I have all these presets and I can either tap to select different brushes and then paint in 3D. I can also just look and select. It's a little weird because sometimes I'll kind of paint a little bit when I'm selecting, but it looks super high fidelity in here. I can walk around my 3D painting here and I have all sorts of settings. Let's try tube. So I'm honestly not exactly sure what the true difference is between these brush styles, uh, but you can choose size. I kind of like that smaller one. I can also go ahead and clear. And it's all very simple. Uh, sculpt, we've got, let's say, continuous, large, smooth out, and let's do a more soft color. And there we go. So I've made a little kind of 3D model here, and I can just walk around it, and it stays perfectly pinned in position. Very cool. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play with. I think uh, better artists might have even a better time than I would. One more cool thing I'll show you really fast. Let's clear this out. Physics mode. Let's do medium size. All right, check this out. So I'm going to draw this and then it drops on the ground. A little bouncy effect. Now, if I draw over the table, it drops right on the table and it might even fall off. Let's try one more. There we go. So kind of cool physics there. Next up, we've got Bomaroon. I'll show you how it works. We're going to hit play. I'm on level two. Tap to place. Let me see. I'm going to put it right here. And then I've got my target. And I can kind of put my target anywhere it turns green. So let's just put it right here. Start battle. And right here, I can go ahead. Let me get this camera out of the way. Get a clear shot. Okay. I can move up and down like this. Oop, they're shooting at me right now. And then fire. That was not, I have to hold this down. Almost hit the PlayStation. Let's move this a little bit this way. You have to make minor movements with your hands to control it properly, but you can get a sense. I need to just do it tiny. There we go. So that's a fun one. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. Next up, Explore POV. This one is one of those immersive video apps, kind of like the Apple immersive videos, and they've got a few different uh, clips out of like New Zealand. I think it's all New Zealand. So I'll show you what it looks like. So they're all 180 videos, not a full 360, but they look quite clear. I will be honest and say that these don't look quite as clear as the Apple immersive videos, but depending on where you look, it's actually extremely clear. It still shows full hand occlusion. Looking closely at the water, for example, looks super realistic. But as you look further out, it just starts to feel a little bit less real looking, but this is the closest thing I've seen from a non Apple content creator making immersive videos like this. It looks really good. I would gladly watch an hour long movie in this format. Let's move on to the Kung Fu Panda app. We can begin. Do what the panda does. I honestly have not tried this one yet. So you're seeing this live with me for the first time. Ooh. All right, this looks really good. Okay, I'm standing right here. I'm curious to see if it's actually tracking me. So right now, is he waiting for me? And if I, oh. He's nodding. He's nodding, he likes what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of testing to see if he's gonna wait for me to 
follow him if he's tracking me. Oh, he's shaking his head. I think he is. He's waiting for me to actually do it. He seems happier that I'm following his instructions here. All right, I think you get the point here. It's pretty interesting. I'll say the graphics look really good. I'll have to spend some more time with this guy on my own. Let's move on to the Masters app. Since the Masters are going on right now, final round, I figured this would be a good opportunity to show how some sports apps out there are doing their thing. So I've been playing around with this a little bit earlier. Really nice and easy to use. I'll show you what this looks like. Let's watch now. And we can see this is uh, just live for future groups. We can move this around. And we can see up to four streams at the same time. We're listening to the featured groups, but we can also listen to this one right here. We can watch this, uh, this swing. All right. And if we don't want to see four, we can just go ahead and again, one big screen and just choose where we want to look. Uh, make a big screen, of course. So I was really liking this one. We can also see the leaderboard, for example. See what's going on here. And then if we choose a player, we can actually see their recent shots. And then we can see each shot on this 3D map. We can just go ahead real fast, go on to the next shot. Yep. So that is what this app looks like. Let's move on though. Next up, let's take a look at Mahao. Here is kind of an artistic gallery app, which I think is actually pretty cool. I'm gonna enter abstract.com. And here we have four walls, 360 view of some cool art and it's like a, another immersive video type of thing where you can look around and experience different artistic effects. Uh, I've seen quite a few art galleries and art experiences, which I think are pretty cool. One weird thing is the settings gears just always shows up in your vision. I wish they'd remove that, but I can easily go back. One more quick art app, Vincent Room. This one allows you to just kind of look at some different Van Gogh paintings. I love Van Gogh. So, I mean, the quality of the, uh, the resolution of this image is really good. As I click each one, it'll load right in front of me. I can see on a map where it is. So that's pretty neat. Last thing I'll show you on this one is an immersive painting. They only have one in the app so far, but again, the fidelity of the image is super high res. It looks like you're standing in this painting. So love that. Next up, we have Space Pinball. This is a 3D pinball game. Again, we can move this anywhere we want. And it's kind of arcadey, but still 3D. And you can go ahead and shoot your pinball anywhere you want. I'm still trying to get the hang of like understanding how this game actually works, to be honest. But this gives you a feel for the graphics. You can walk around this whole environment. And, oh, it looks like this is still going for this first turn. It seems like at any time I can also kind of reshoot the ball when it's in midair in this space environment. And there we go, that's this game. And last up, we've got Wisp World. This I kind of thought was a game when I first downloaded it, but it seems more like a, a companion, I would say. The graphics are really nice. Uh, it just seems a little bit limited, limited in what you can do, but I'll show you how this works. I think it has some kind of language model that you can type with. And then you can kind of talk to it. Uh, if you try to go outside the bounds of the game and your conversation, it tries to bring it right back. But you've got this little guy here and you can explode these tiny pollens for him to eat. And as he gets bigger, the environment also will change and grow and you can rotate this environment and kind of place it 
on your desk here while you're doing something else. So browse Reddit or something, this will stay open and just be this companion that hangs out here that again, I can kind of move wherever I want. And I can actually control him and have him go around this environment. So again, cool graphics. Uh, not really sure how long I would spend playing this, but uh, if you want a little plant that's interactive on your desk while you're doing other stuff, it's kind of cool. And there we go, that's Wisp World. And that's it for now. As always, new apps, new showcases are gonna be coming out. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments.